So this saint came to me in a dream, but under a different guise. All I know is that I was seeing lots of red and black, especially at the beginning of this year. When I uh, came to the realization of my own that this year would be all about red and black and knots for some reason, knots and not magic. Um, also this year was for me very much about the dead. Well, upon doing some searching around and upon talking to a couple of people that I'm well acquainted with that have experience with San de Sacedor, they shared with me how he was to be approached and how his presence can help a person with undoing the wrongs in their life. Now, Sancista Brujo Luis has a great video on San de Sacedor and has a great background and covers a lot of the history on San de Sacedor. So um, he does a great job at, at covering that aspect. Um, and also, you know, pretty much covering the entirety of what I've also found about San de Sacedor. So, I took it into my own hands, and I started to say his prayers, and I started to incorporate lots of not magic with him, and rest assured, it almost had an immediate result. And the presence of that santo you can feel, you can palpably feel, at least I could, and he is deep, and he is, it, it almost seems like he's, he's very much connected with, with re, you know, restitution, but also he's very connected with revocations, and there's a very, very cool method, and a very interesting method, that a revocation can be done with San de Sacedor that involves more than just prayers and lighting candles and, you know, maybe even writing something on a petition. It involves more than that. There's a, a method in which you, you gather a plate. I think it's preferably a white plate. I had a, a white and blue plate. That's all I had. You'll get a, a cup the ones that, that I've used and the ones that I was seeing used were, were glass. Almost kind of like a wine glass. An old-fashioned wine glass. You can get all these things at your thrift store. You know, your 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, stuff like that, if, if you don't have a lot to spend. And also you'll need a, a red and black candle. Or, in, in some instances, just a candle. So, you'll take um, the cup of water. I'm, I'm sorry, you'll take the cup. My apologies. You'll take the cup, you'll fill it with water and some salt. You are to stir the water in the cup with your left index finger. And you are to recite San de Sacedores prayer. And this prayer is about you know, um, protection from enemies, protection from envy, and pretty much a, a run of the mill, but a little bit more of an intense type of prayer. It basically is saying, not only protect me, but give it back. You know, reverse. He's very good with reversal, but in this case, it's a revocation. So, Continued with the instructions. After you pour the salt in the water and stir it with your left index finger and recite his prayer, you are going to put that you're going to put the white plate on top of the cup and you're going to flip it upside down to where the water stays in the cup. And from there, on top of the cup, uh, I have seen two methods. You either take a red and black stick candle and you light it from the bottom so that you're doing reverse work 
and let it burn. Or you can just burn a, a regular candle on top of it if you can't find a reversal one, or you can light a reversal candle on top of the cup. I suppose in its uh, seven day glass. There's also candles that are removable in the seven day glass that you take out, you flip them, and then you light them from the bottom. Um, there's a couple of other secret techniques that I really don't have permission to share with the revocation that are personal to the people that shared this information with me. But upon doing these um, revocations with San de Sacedor, I was doing them every Tuesday. And in doing so, I would get a, a red cord or red string and since it, since my intention was to send things back that came to me, I would get the red string. And for each and every uh, situation that I was to send back, in accordance to his prayer, as I was saying his prayer, um, I would tie a knot and pull it tight. And for every time that I would pull it, I would say, send it back. And I would pull it with force. I would do this up to nine times. I would tie knots down the string and I would start at the center. And when I was done, I would place the knot at San de Sacedor's feet because my good friend got me a statue of him that's very beautiful. And that I would, I would continue to, to light, let the candle burn. And that pretty much would be that it would usually continue to burn until Friday. And that was my variation of, of a revocation. Uh, thanks to my friend and thanks to the instructions online. Also, you know, a big, big, big thank you to Sancista Brujo Luis for posting his video. Uh, I was better able to connect with San de Sacedor. Um, he's, he's powerful. And he is helpful in, in many different areas, not just undoing or reversals in many, many different areas. He's also a great protector. He's also believed to be a type of psychopomp. So he goes between worlds. He goes between this world and the underworld. It's, he's supposed to be a guide of the dead. And I very, very much felt that with him. I felt that he was just, he was more than just a protector, but that he did have connections with the cemetery and with the underworld and with the dead. Did I tap into that side of him? Not necessarily, but we just started our relationship and I love it. One day I just woke up and it was just all about red and black, red and black, red and black, red and black. And never before in my life have I felt a connection that deep. And when I got closer to him, I realized that it was radiating from him. He wanted me to understand a different concept about reversal magic. He wanted me to understand how reversal magic is more than just what you see on your, on your basic videos and your basic books and, and, and forums and instructions and that sort of thing, that it goes beyond that. So I'd like to say, thank San de Sacedor for instructing me in that area and he is now a part of my family um, and I am extremely grateful to him. To me, this year is very much about red and black, protection, war, uh, guidance, reversal, and the deep, deep, deep roots and connections from this side to the other side. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And if you have any experiences with San de Sacedor, please feel free to share them in the comments. I would love to read them. And let's try to keep the comments respectful. And also, if you all need a reading, either about anything in particular or about Santa Muerte, there's a link in my description to my Etsy so that we can book a reading together. So thank you all once again for watching and I hope you all have a great day.